I just want to, this will be our, my uh, second to last time introducing a poet to this distinguished chamber. And as part of Hispanic Heritage Month, I have a close friend who just came out with a new uh, book of poetry. And she's a new Madison resident for the last four years. So Angela Trudell Vasquez. my new collection. Uh, this is actually High Stand Park in Milwaukee, or on Milwaukee in Madison, where I edited a lot of these poems. This is called Arboretum. And thank you for having me. Arboretum frames Mexican bones, bodies who built railroads with broken backs, raw hands. An 1880 census conceals us carving holes in steel cars for light, night air, hanging hammocks for sleeping wives to rock under galaxies. One woman rides the continent, follows her man from Zacatecas, thighs astride her clacking motorbike, belly swings on a swing, sways on the rails until, where they lived in boxcars until kids were grown, where postpartum was unknown and unbalanced women got sent back where my grandma, her cousins, hid on the school hill to eat quesadillas. Neighbors claim the old man rode with Pancho Villa when men in suits leap off skyscrapers in New York, where my mom and Tia pretend not to speak English, teasing shopkeepers on the square, where my dad ran cross country to escape those fences farmland until he broke a mahogany streak on burnt clay tracks where my uncle strove through bullets in Vietnam, dragging his buddy to the helicopter, and grandmothers trade apples for pears, fingertips and ashy wrists, dig out change at the market, dole out tortillas during meals, one hand on the open flame, one hand flutters, holds the blue house dress, where peony roots divide on their own, sparking an arboretum of sweet pink light, <coughs> whose perfume carries itself uptown to the courthouse in drafts with garlic and chile. Where my sister came the day my grandfather was buried, water gushing graveside, and summers meant vaulting between family houses, rhubarb sticks dipped in bone white sugar, rope swing thigh burns, treasure hunts in the gully. Where I visit now, water their parched Easter lilies as they lie beneath the grass and thank them for surviving Midwest winters, wars, and lynchings, for firewood split, mole recipes on parchment, for raising people who love so much it hurts to swallow, for lessons on how small Carmel women united overcome great sorrow, for sharing their one red lipstick and rose hand lotion when I was a girl flowering. Thank you. Thank you.